In this example, we will examine how my computer, computer A, establish a TCP session with Google Web Server that exists in the internet, and then how my computer uses HTTP protocol to request the web page it needs from Google Web Server in the internet. My network consists of several computers that are connected to router's interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 over 0 using a switch. My computer IP address is 10.5.50.217 and the MAC address of my computer is this MAC address. The router's interface MAC address is 10.5.15.50.1 and the MAC address of router's interface is this MAC address. First of all, we should open our web browser and go to Google website. Then let's go to Wireshark to see what it is captured. Okay, starting from here. This is the source IP address, which is the IP address of my computer. And this is the destination IP address, with, which is the IP address of the Google web server. First, my computer is talking to Google web server using TCP protocol, telling him that, please, I need to open a session with you. Then Google is talking to my computer using TCP protocol, telling him that, okay, I am ready to open a session with you. Then you will find that my computer is talking to Google web server using TCP protocol, telling him that, okay, the session is already opened. Let's start sending data. Then you will find that my computer is talking to Google web server using HTTP protocol and using HTTP protocol my computer is telling with the web server of Google the web page it needs. So we observed that my computer first opened a session, a TCP session with Google web server and then used HTTP protocol to request the web page my computer needs. Those three TCP packets from my computer to Google web server then from Google to my computer, then from my computer to Google, are called three-way handshaking. And this is why TCP protocol is called connection-oriented protocol. This is because it opens a session between the two computers before start sending data between each other.